Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Act Razor Renaissance. Yes, this is now the second time we are coming back to it after I took a break from it. It is not going away again anytime soon, now that my editing skills are a tad faster. I just gotta remember how to play the game, is all. Okay, so that's my attack. Yes! Master, in helping to seal, to see the lair sealed, your children have grown more confident and resilient. They may now oppose the enemy more vigorously. To wit, you may now instruct them to build additional fortifications to defend their settlement. Woo. Do I even have any built? O oh Lord, by your mighty hand, the lair is no more. This triumph we owe in great part to our neighbors, the goodly Consecrate Green. Not once has Shemael attempted to push his faith unto others. Indeed, tis we who have broached the subject, asking questions, all which he has answered with kindness and candor. He is an eloquent speaker whose words touch the heart, and the beliefs he espouses are not so dissimilar to our own. Many have expressed a desire to learn more. Shemael, Shemael, Shemael. To hear his name spoken so many times, you would think that this is his temple, not yours, master. To say the silver-tongued cleric has a knack for winning over others would be a gross understatement. What they see in him, what spurs them to look on him with such admiration, I do not know. But if this continues, I may need to intervene. I leveled up! Let's go! Let's go! Ah, bah, bah, bah. Time to fry everything. Okay, so I have three fortifications, and I need to. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Shamail, I would have words. Oh, to whom do I have the honor of speaking? The right hand of the Lord of Light. Ah, oh, an angel, the embodiment of compassion and nobility. Tis quite rare for you to reveal yourselves to humans, much less to heretics such as I. Yet here I am, and there you are. You are unperturbed. The faithless are generally shocked to learn that we servants of our Lord do indeed exist. You must understand me, good angel. I do not deny the existence of you nor your master. Tis simply that, in the course of our daily lives, we of the consecrate green look not to a distant deity above, but to the earth beneath our own two feet. While we could esteem a god that rarely, if ever, intercedes in our affairs, we think our attention better devoted to those with whom we share this world, how we may aid one another, and together strengthen our community. Man must endeavor to help himself and his kin, must he not, to leave the world better than he found it, am I mistaken uh hmm. nay tis true that mortals should aspire first to improve their lot on their own on that point we are in agreement and i applaud your sense of responsibility to your fellow men however this world is under siege by the dark lord tanzra and his minions 
The best of men are no match for the forces of primordial evil. Only the Lord of Light can defeat this enemy. To lead the faithful astray unto and unto doubt, to seduce them into renunciation will only weaken their savior. I pray you think on the repercussions. I see. You are come to deliver a warning. I thank you for it. Would that we could speak at greater length, but another horde approaches. Perhaps we could continue this conversation afterwards? If that is your desire. Till next we meet, then, I shall endeavor not to keep you waiting over long. That did not go at all according to plan. I swear that cleric is as quick and nimble with his words as a master swordsman. Tete, tete, uh, tete, what? Thrill of the treasure hunt. Why is that not complete? Alright. Uh, we are not skipping. I want barricades. I definitely want one there. And we'll put one there for now. They really want to ruin that blockade, don't they? Look at Shemail. He doesn't suck after all. I think I get... Migrana first. Because she can just kill things super fast. I think I want... I got going on. There's a lot of fire dudes. Alonzo is good. Kind of. the right call choosing Alonzo. Oh, this is going so smooth, but there is also so much going on. It's the last of the horde. Woo! Alright, Migrana, you're gonna be useful. Come down here. Just kidding. Man, Alonso is just one shotting each of these guys.
Let's go. Nothing, like barely anything took damage. The fiends have been routed. All is well in Marana uh, once more. So, where were we, good angel, before we were forced to suspend our conversation? Ah, yes, I remember. You assured me that men were powerless to stand against Tanzra's minions. That only the almighty Lord of Light could defeat this terrible foe. If true, then should we conclude that the wiser course of action is to wait and pray for our Lord to descend from on high and deliver us from evil? Such logic will avail us not, I think. Be it through calamities or hordes, sickness or war, the evil one persists in his vendetta against humanity. The devout rewarded with peace today will invariably face renewed hardship tomorrow. Having failed to overcome it on their own before, what hope have they for future survival? Better to face <clears throat> better to face present adversity adversity. Wow, I am having a hard time talking today with the presumption that divine intervention is not forthcoming. That man will only endure if he acts as the instrument of his own deliverance. For we of the Consecrate Green have faith in the infinite potential of man and his resolute, unconquerable soul. But, but, in, but in the Lord of Light one must have faith. By your response I gather you do not dispute any of the points I have put forth. I enjoyed that we could find common ground, as I felt certain we would. We are not enemies of you and your master, not now or ever, I am sure. I pray you will regard us from your lofty perch with the self-same care and consideration you afford to your chosen. Hmm. I am actually acutely, I am acutely aware of this of the implication and I do not care for it. I acknowledge that the arguments are reasonable and well thought out, but that makes them le no less infuriating. No one could <clears throat> No one cares more deeply for the plight of mortals, loves them more unquestion unquestioningly and unconditionally than you, master, but these ones stubbornly refuse to see it. But be that as it may, you will continue to watch over them, together with your children, for you do not discriminate. Yes, of course, that is your will. Then I will follow your lead to keep a close eye on them as well. Woo. We got bridges! Lord, your children of Marana are in high spirits this day, for we have conceived a wonderful new creation. Bridges, blah, 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 blah. I am aware that further development is needed. Hello? Lord, with every passing day, our constant allies, the Consecrate Green, grow in number, bolstered by your Marana. The temple grows more quiet as fewer and fewer come to pray. A regrettable state of affairs, or so it should be thought. But outside the temple walls, are our people thrive. Happy and content as never before, and for that I am glad. Soon we will march on the next monster lair. We travel together with our courageous brothers and sisters of the Consecrate Green. Hearts of full confidence and devoid of cowardice. Huh, how odd. He spoke no prayer and treated no blessing. But... Effusive was his praise of Shemael's brethren. His magic continues to impress your chosen. Hmm. O oh Lord, the isle which lies to the north and west cannot have escaped your attention. Would that we could claim its fertile soil as part of the settlement, but the channel which divides us is too vast. Uh, were but they closer together, the Marana could thrive. Come to think of it, reshape the earth.
that's not fun. Did I already kill it? All right. Got it. The Merlana are returned safe and sound. After every excursion, one comes to deliver a report, but this time, could it be that even these most devout of your children have fallen under the sway of the Consecrate Green? No one, not a single soul has come to worship. And now the fiends come yet again to lay siege to the settlement. But look there, master. The consecrate green gathered to fight in defense of the people. Then there is not for us to do but stand back and watch, is there? This loser is now level three. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Nope. And I'll probably bring in the same two people as I did before. Depending on how things go, I may bring in Alonzo first instead of Magrana. We'll see. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring in Alonzo. Just put him there for now. This one is real slow. Like, these guys are dying to one of these. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Um... It's only flying, dudes. I need somebody with range, and neither Philotus nor Magrana have that, so... Last of the Horde, woo! Wait, I thought I summoned her. Did she die? Really? Yo, that's ridiculous. Maybe I bring in Flotus just to give that extra attack power. Just to give that extra attack power, I think taking him is the best ideal. Yeah, so last of the hordes, I don't believe you. Wait, did Flotus just hit something?
gonna lose again. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I can fix this. Okay, let's try this. Alonzo is unfortunately the best one to bring in. Yeah, yeah, the last of the horde. I've already seen that a couple times. Oh my gosh, it still happened. This is somehow working. I don't know how this is working. How? I don't understand a single thing. Come on, th this is actually looking doable. Come on, take him out. Yes! That li that's a gimmick fight. That's literally... You have to have nothing but arrow things. Well, well. It would seem your temple wants for worshippers. Such oppressive, pervasive sadness... One feels in a holy place where no prayers are spoken. Do not pretend you played no part in this. Twas you who lured them from the righteous path. With honeyed words of comfort and magic of questionable provenance, you promised them the world and more. For an avatar of divine love, your tongue is awfully sharp, good angel. I have only ever used my magic for the benefit of my fellow men. If it is within my power to soothe the fearful heart, if only a touch and for a time, then duty compels. Those who see my works and follow in my stead do so of their own accord. But whence comes your power? Magic was lost an age ago. How came you to wield that which your ancestors forgot? The consecrate, the consecrate green, remember. I am but the latest in a long line of heirs to an ancient tradition. The salvation of others is our charge, then and now. My gift is untainted by corruption or sin or any other quality that would justify your aggressive suspicion, good angel. What is this miasma black as pitch? I... I feel unwell. Suddenly and terribly. I didn't read that because I fat-fingered it, but, uh, basically, there's a miasma that's poisoning people. Master, your children are in danger. The source of this foul mist looks to be the Temple of the Consecrate Green. Surely it is no match for your m miraculous power. You must disperse it at once.
the miasma departs as quickly as it came, but what benevolent force freed us from its grasp? You're, you've a miracle of the Lord of Light to thank for the blessed fresh air you now breathe. Twould be remiss of you not to express your sin sincerest gratitude to your Savior Divine. The black mist upon which everyone nearly choked to death came from your temple. Why is that, Shemael? I believe you owe us all an explanation. But that... That cannot be, for its essence was that of... Yes, him, the adversary. T'was another avenue of attack by Tanzra's minion. The remaining lairs in this land, they must be sealed without further delay. You will excuse me. Didn't I tell you from the first master? The sect cannot be trusted. Shemael must be made to answer for this and everything else when he returns. And with that, we're going to finish off Marana in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye.